Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a blush declutter for you. These are all the blushes I have, which is a few too many, although I do really love blush. So this is definitely gonna be a bit of a struggle category for me. However, I do think I can get rid of 50%. I really do. I believe in myself. So that's what we're going to try and do today because this whole series that I've been doing on my channel is trying to basically get rid of half my makeup. So if you're interested in seeing some of those other videos, I do have them all in a playlist for you. I'll try and remember to link it in the description. Otherwise you can find it on my channel. Now I just want to quickly point out before we start delving into these singles, I have a few different like blush palettes and face palettes and stuff in my collection, but I don't really want to go over those today because that I'm going to be doing those in my palette video. A few of you were commenting on where my Benefit Hula Light bron bronzer was last time and I just want to point out that I have the Cheekathon palette where I actually replaced the original Hoola shade with my Hoola light. I depotted the Hoola light and swapped it out so that my Hoola light was in here with the blushes. So if you're wondering where that bronzer was, it's in here and yes I'm keeping it. You'll see this again in my palette video but I just wanted to kind of put that out there so in case you're like wondering where my Benefit blushes are, I do have one other Benefit blush here, box blush single. The rest of my blushes all come in this palette and I also squeezed in the California blush. I like shoved it into this gap where the brush used to go which I think is way smarter to have six pans as opposed to five and a brush hole. Okay I think that lighting is actually a little better. First we have the Secret Key Miracle Fit Contour Stick. This is the blush shade. Looked like a really pretty colour but I did not like the formula of this so I'm going to declutter that. Also going to declutter the Benefit Lolly Tint. I think the colour is really pretty and I do love like a liquid blush but just the idea of like sort of painting it on and then having to like blend it out it just didn't really work for me. It's also very subtle. I didn't find this one have much payoff. This is a cream blush in the shade Soft Rose. It's a really nice colour but I think I prefer the sugar ball ones which I'm going to talk about in a second. I hardly reach for this one now that I have these new like Korean ones so I'm going to get rid of that one. Let's talk about these sugar ball ones because you guys know I'm a a real fan of these. My favourite colour by far is definitely the first one that I tried. This is shade number five. This is like a really nice kind of slightly dusky sort of pink. They're called cushion blushes because they come with a cushion but they're definitely just like a cream blush that has a puff application rather than like these cushion blushes here which are actual like liquid cushions. They can be quite pigmented as you can see. They can really build up the colour but I think the puff method of applying them is how you can get a really nice subtle application from them. So I'm definitely keeping number five. I actually think I'm going to keep all of them apart from this one, the red one. I'm struggling to get this get on board with this color. This is number two. Red blushes I find very difficult. I know a few of you asked my opinion on them and for me I know they can give that really beautiful innocent sort of dull look but I just can't really make them look natural and flattering on my skin tone. I mean that kind of like Korean dolly makeup look is not really something that I tend to go for anyway <laughs> with my style and I just find this too hard to work with. So I'm going to pass on the red one but I'm going to keep these four colors. Number one which is a really beautiful pink. Number three which is quite a nice kind Kind of sort of soft apricot. Number four is like a true peach and as I said before number five is quite a nice sort of dusky mauvey sort of color. Then we have these two Style Nanda cushion blushes. I actually have a third one of these but it's more like a bronzer color so I put that in my bronzer video. I have the shades pink and girlish red and I'm definitely holding on to the pink one. I love this color. This is a true actual liquid cushion blush. There's an actual cushion in there. My one's actually running out. I probably need to even buy a new one because they don't last that long the cushions but it's the most beautiful soft watercolor kind of consistency. I think I am actually quite keen to hold on to this red one for now because if I'm going to make a red blush work I think it's going to be more likely to be in this kind of formula where it's quite a lightweight watercolor consistency but I haven't really had a chance to try it so I'm going to hold on to it for now but that could be one I declutter if I just can't get the red to work. And we have these two so this Too Faced one I was originally expecting to hold on to but I actually think I might declutter it. I don't reach for it very much. My favorite thing about it is definitely the scent and the packaging. I think when I didn't own very many cream blushes I enjoyed it enough but it's just a little bit too sort of cream to powdery for me. I prefer just a true cream that stays dewy. So even though I said in my bronze video where I decluttered the bronzer version and I said I'd probably keep this, I actually think I will get rid of this. I just don't need it. I think the Koreans make far superior cream blushes. And we live with this wee guy. Isn't he cute? Now this is the Tony Moly Pikachu blush and this is actually a discontinued product now. Oh, it has a pokey bowl for a cushion. I literally bought it just for the packaging. I don't even think I've actually used it on my face. It also smells like Hubba Bubba. I might just hold on to that because it's kind of a novelty product. And as I say, it is discontinued now, so it's quite difficult to get a hold of. But 
He's so cute. So I'm getting rid of five and I'm keeping seven. So I am a little bit over 50%, but I kind of expected that because I am having a bit of a thing for cream blushes at the moment. Very potentially could get rid of this one as well, but we shall see. So many powder blushes, they don't even fit in frame. <laughs> My problem with blush is I tend to enjoy formula enough that I'll buy multiple colors. So then we end up like this, where I've got so many of like the same ones. Like I've got four of these Clinique ones, four of the Physician's Formula ones, five of the lovely cookie blushes. Firstly is this Flower Beauty Sweet Pea blush. I know a lot of people really love this, but I just didn't really get on board with the formula of this. I found it to be a little bit patchy and a little bit too pigmented for my complexion that it actually just didn't sit very well on, on my makeup. I've got ones I way prefer in that kind of lovely dusky mauve colour. The colour was definitely the thing I loved most about it, but I just couldn't get on board with the formula, so I'm gonna pass on that one. I'm gonna keep this Too Faced Love Flush blush in Baby Love. This is one of my favorite blushes. I love the packaging, I love the color. It is one of those kind of dusky mauve colors that looks really flattering on a lot of skin tones. As you can see, mine's so old, the gold writing's rubbed off, but it's such a nice color. I really enjoy this. I'll probably end up fully panning this. I'm gonna get rid of this ColourPop blush. I was pretty underwhelmed by this. This is one of their Super Shock Cheek blushes and online this looked a lot less bright. <laughs> this is so intense this color. It's called Thumper. It just doesn't really work for me so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I think I am gonna get rid of this Bare Minerals Gen Nude blush. This is in the shade Pink Me Up. I just don't really reach for it and while I think the formula is actually very beautiful it's really smooth and the color is lovely but it is just pretty kind of meh like it's fine, <laughs> but nothing that special. So, and I know I've got some blushes that I way prefer, so I'm gonna pass on that one. I'm gonna hold on to this little NARS blush. This is in the shade Dolce Vita. This is actually quite new. I got this at Christmas time. This is a little bit of a deeper kind of mauve color. I haven't really had a chance really to wear it. It might not work for my complexion that well, so I need to actually like pull this out, put it in my everyday makeup drawer and use it. This came in a combo with a highlighter and I loved the highlighter and really used that heap. So I need to try this blush and just see how we go. Now I do have NARS NARS Orgasm lying around somewhere. I can't find it, but I know it's in my collection. I definitely will keep that shade too. I'm gonna get rid of this CoverGirl Peach Punch Blush. This is a peach scented blush. Again, it's quite pretty. I mean, the thing with blush is that a lot of blushes are very pretty. Maybe a little too peachy for me, like I prefer something with a bit more pink in it. Um, and it's nice, but I'm just trying to cut back. I don't need all of this makeup, so. Same with this L'Oreal Life's a Peach. If I was gonna keep one of those peach blushes, I would keep the CoverGirl one, but I'm gonna get rid of this as well. You know what, I actually think I might get rid of Milani Luminosa. I haven't reached for this in so long. It's a very similar color to like Benefit Coralista, which I have in that Benefit palette, so I think I will just pass on this one. I will hold on to these two Milani Rose blushes. I like these ones. They're not necessarily my absolute favorite, but it is nice to hold on to a couple of more like drugstore options. And I've got the shades Romantic Rose, which is the sort of more popular one. It's a little bit more of a dusky sort of mauve, but I also really love this color, Tea Rose. And this is a nice sort of, yeah, soft pink. It's a very flattering color for my complexion. So I'm gonna keep those. I'm also gonna hold on to this Rimmel Maxi Blush. This is a really great color. You get so much in this pan. The formula is so smooth. It's a really underrated blush, actually. A lot of people don't talk about it. It's in the shade Exposed, and it is literally one of the best dupes for Tarte Exposed that I've ever come across. So there you go. I'm gonna get rid of this Essence Satin Coral Blush. I just don't ever reach for this. Again, it's quite an orangey sort of color. Yeah, I just have so many blushes. Nah, I'm being ruthless. Now yeah, this Benefit Gold Rush blush. Yeah, I think that's too warm tone for me. I'm gonna get rid of that because I do have a lot of Benefit blushes, as I say, in that palette. I know a friend would really appreciate getting that, so I'll pass that on. <laughs> you can see that I'm leaving these till the end because they're probably some of my favorite formulas. I've got two MAC blushes. This one here, MAC Warm Soul. I think I will keep this. I actually do quite like this color. It looks quite warm, as the name would suggest, but it's definitely one of those nice kind of soft, almost like almost gingery warm color, almost leaning towards bronzer. For some reason this is just a really flattering color on me so I'm gonna hold on to that. This product and actually this as well. Let's bring them out. The Estee Lauder Jelly Blush in Tees. Oh my gosh. Iconic. Look at that pan. Look how much love has gone into this product. This is about six years old. It was one of the first really bougie products I bought. I remember spending about $80 New Zealand on this when I lived in Wellington. It was basically a whole day's pay from my retail job. I went over to Kirk's because it used to be Cacaldi and Stains before it changed over to David Jones. Went over and bought this. It was the last one in stock. I remember Zoella and everyone in the UK used to rave about this blush. I bought it. I loved 
this blush. This is the most gorgeous, like glowy pink blush, and it's actually still so beautiful, but it is just getting so old, and I feel like it needs to go into my forever makeup collection. So I have a little tiny collection of makeup that I keep as like sentimental makeup kind of thing. Like I don't want to get rid of them because it has so much meaning. This just reminds me of how much I used to value the worth of makeup so much. I mean, I think it's inevitable that when you're in this kind of blogger life for a while, the true value of makeup starts to become something that you get a little bit out of touch with. I'd still like think twice about spending that now but it definitely was a huge investment for me back then. It's just I treasured this so it has to go into my treasure makeup collection as well as this. This is my MAC blush and well dressed. This was actually a gift from Alex. So when he went to the US like six or seven years ago he bought this for me and it's a really nice light pink colour but it's lost a bit of its pigmentation over time. It definitely doesn't perform like it used to. It's been slowly getting like hard pan over the years so you can see I've been giving it a good scrape. Okay so then we're moving into things that I have like obviously quite a collection of. Natural Glow is a bit more of a peachy colour but it's so subtle like this is super super fair. Very very lightly pigmented. It really suits my complexion, so I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to hold on to rosy pink as well, because this is quite a nice sort of like lilac-y shade, as you can see. But I know there was one of these that I didn't like as much as the other. I'm going to hold on to Plum Rose. It's a little bit more sort of mauve and I'll pass on Vintage Rouge. I don't reach for that colour very often. The lovely cookie blushes from Etude House. This can show you the colours a little bit more. So one of my favourite colours for sure is Ginger Honey Cookie. They come with these cute little puffs to apply, and I actually love applying them with this. It's a really beautiful beautiful almost a bronzer shade kind of nothingless color hmm this is difficult I feel like I'm not going to do very well on this category now with these ones because I love the Clinique ones too I think I'm going to keep this one strawberry shoe because this is a really beautiful light pink but I'm going to pass on this one grapefruit jelly because this is a little bit deeper of a pink and I prefer a light pink over a medium um this lavender is absolutely unique what is this called lavender chiffon cake such a cute name a true lavender which actually can look so pretty on the skin oh, see when it's actually over over top of your skin tone it kind of looks like just a really soft flush. I think I'll get rid of this colour apricot peach mousse just because like that sort of peachy colour as I say is not as much my cup of tea and if I do want a peach I do still have one or two in my collection. Lastly we have these Clinique cheek pops which I really love the formula of these. I remember buying these three in Singapore when did I buy this one? What is this? Ginger Pop. I do not even remember buying that. That is funny. So this first one, Melon Pop. This is one that I will keep in this sort of more like peachy colour realm. It's got actually a really beautiful undertone to it. Then I've got Plum Pop and Pansy Pop. Plum Pop comes off a lot more like a magenta as you can see and Pansy Pop is more like that kind of lilac colour. And then Ginger Pop. Ginger Pop is probably not quite the right colour for me, so I'm going to pass that one on. I do really like both. They're actually quite different when they're swatched, so I'll keep those. In terms of powder blushes, I am actually getting rid of 14, including these two that I'm putting into my special makeup box. And I'm keeping 15. So I haven't quite done 50% today, but I've come very close. So these are the ones I'm keeping. They fit perfectly in this little box. And then these are the ones that I'm getting rid of. If you enjoy declutters, do make sure you subscribe because I am doing them very, very regularly at the moment. I'm going through my whole collection, trying to have it. <laughs> and the next one will be highlighters, which I'm very keen to tackle. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.